Some parts of this game may be considered violent, disturbing, or cruel. Enjoy! Uh, if they give me an intended gameplay experience, I take that every time, no matter what. I trust the devs. Uh, this is Hollow Body, and in Hollow Body, we unfortunately are a British person. The aliens are coming. I know. True horror has arrived. I know, I understand. I understand. We're told a catastrophic incident unfolded along the western coast of the British Isles. I've seen what they eat in England, by the way. Uh, it sounds like they're creating their own catastrophic event. Now, the one downside of this event is that we're never going to get a new episode of EastEnders. Now, this is a suspected bioterrorism attack. And then in a completely natural response, they erected towering walls around the cities and then relentlessly just bombed the urban centers for weeks with orbital strikes. So yeah, unfortunately, if the virus didn't get Grandma Shirley, then the multiple weeks of airstrikes probably sealed the deal. Now the actual game here takes place six decades after these incidents. So yeah, if Grandma did somehow survive those airstrikes too, I guess she'd probably be dead anyway at this point. This is a survival horror game inspired by Silent Hill, as you'll be able to tell incredibly fast, except set in like a Blade Runner style abandoned city. Now, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I'd recommend playing it first for yourself. But if not, here's the full experience of Hollow Body. Woe to the acrid smell of electric fire. Rain pounding on a cracked windshield in my hover. I tried to call for help, but my radio couldn't catch the signal through the storm. Could it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Tasha was out there somewhere. If we were standing any chance of getting out of here, I'd need a evac plan. I'd have an advantage someplace high enough to get a signal through my radio. A call for help. This wasn't over. Here we are. Another survival horror game. Now, I'm like, man, we are missing an RPG maker horror game this year. But then I remembered I'm playing Fear and Hunger 2 for the next video. That's... Look, that's close enough, okay? Sheesh, okay. I didn't realize they were cooking with this inventory screen. The eyeball, like, flashing. It kind of reminds me of Signalis, actually. This is... This is good. That's a solid-ass inventory screen. What do you think you're doing? My husband has work in the morning. It's just a precaution, Mom. All residents are advised to stay in their homes until further notice. This is absurd. You have no right to tell us what to do. Just wait till my man hears about this. Mom, we understand the inconvenience, but failure to comply will result in a blacklist for you and your family. You shut your blacklist! Let me through! Has this been bombed yet? I can't tell, man. This just looks like you head down to Bell End. I'm half British, by the way, so this is all in <laughs> this is all in good jest. All right, we've had some good maps lately, but I'm not a big fan of the 3D maps, like the Doom 2016 auto map bullshit. But uh, we'll deal with it. God help me from doing a bad British accent through this whole video. <sighs> Did I do that? Was that the wind? Oh, actually, it could have been me. Man, I didn't realize I had so much momentum going past that thing. I'm sick of pushing boxes, man. <laughs> uh, I feel like I push a box in every single game now. Silent Hill 2 Remake, I'm pushing stupid boxes to get through holes in the roof. By the way, Silent Hill 2 Remake, incredible. Spoilers for my video coming up. Look, it's blocked with some... Oh, I thought that said exploding foam. That's a great idea. You just keep putting chewing gum in a lock until it just looks like that. We used to be happy. That looks like it was drawn with a Photoshop pen. That's really unfortunate for this guy. Um, like, he survived the weeks of orbital strikes, but then he got killed by, a, like, a rebar. I guess that could happen. The explosion could have made that happen. You couldn't pay me to sleep in this place. It's not the first time I've heard a woman say that. Haven't seen any enemies yet. It's stressing me out. It is stressing me out. It keeps giving me ammo. It's told me how to run. 
Hey, this guy went out doing what he loves. <laughs> Gooning in a VR headset. Probably to a VTuber, like a freak. Like a sick freak. You're scaring me. Please tell me what's wrong. We can work this out. I'm fine. I'm not hungry. I, I need some space. Maybe this construction job wasn't such a great idea. Wouldn't be a Silent Hill like if we didn't jump down a hole, huh? Is that a... Did I see a missile? Was that... Oh my... A missile dormant is isn't active! Oh! So this is where we get our first phone call. From what I'm assuming is just like an evil L from Death Note. If I was a bazillionaire, I would buy mummy a new daddy and get pizza every day. Man. Kids living the dream, huh? <laughs> buy, buy mommy a new daddy? Man, when you spend a bazillion dollars on a new daddy and it turns out he's a hammer murderer. I'm gonna weigh in on the remake banter going on right now. I see a lot of people going against remakes, saying they're creatively bankrupt and they're not original ideas anymore. And if you wanna, everyone should be playing indie survival horrors like Crow Country and Signalis or this game. Support original ideas, but no, I mean this in the best way possible. These are all very obvious tributes to the original Silent Hill games. There's not a lot of original stuff going on in these games either. Okay, that's what that's why we enjoy them. They're similar to things we've loved in the past. Let's not pretend like the Silent Hill 2 remake is somehow more creatively bankrupt than any of these games, okay? Just cuz it's like me playing the Silent Hill 2 remake, that shit was that shit was golden. Felt like a whole new take on Silent Hill 2. I I enjoyed it. It was like a new experience. It's put Silent Hill 2 back on back in people's minds, everyone, oh, there's a lot of newcomers to the, the series now. You know, it's a great thing. Now I've got two sick Silent Hill 2 games with completely different feelings that I can go back and play. I can play the new remake, I can play the original. Survival horror fans are continuously winning with all these new releases, including remakes. So let's, let's not pretend like we're not. Ooh. I still haven't seen an enemy, but if they're going to give me a melee weapon... I think that might be over. I don't even know what the enemies... possibly could be. I'm guessing they're going to be like... hideous, humanoid... figures? What the hell is that? <laughs> oh. Ah! What the hell was that camera change? Get me out of here, man! Ah. All right, she. Oh, she's still. She's good. She's like. She's like. What's going on here? Get. Get rid of her. Get rid of that. Oh. Okay. It's uh. It's Adam from Saw One. So this first puzzle here had me nailed for like 20 minutes, which I am not complaining about. After Crow Country, I needed some hard puzzles. I'm currently playing Silent Hill 2 Remake. And with the puzzles on hard, that's exactly where I want my survival horror to be. Anyway, we need a four digit code for this safe. Now play along here. Write your answer in the comments. I'll give you the exact details they give you in the game. There's a letter in the kitchen. It's a medical record. It has her name as well as her date of birth, the 4th of October, 2025. Holy shit, that's next year's Shocktober. All right, so we have a university diploma for her degree up on her wall. She's a doctor of medicine. Congratulations. Now the safe has a photo taped to it and it says graduation with two exclamation points. Thankfully, this survived the orbital strikes. There's another photo by her bed with a kid who apparently can't be older than three or four and she is celebrating her 30th birthday. Now lastly, there's a graduation photo on her wall. Three girls and one seems to be heavily pregnant. And that's it. That's the puzzle. So I'm going to give you a bit of time here. Feel free to pause and really flex and then write your answer down below. A four digit code, okay? No cheating. Okay, I'm taking, I've given you enough time. Because of the photo on the safe, the safe code is the year of her graduation. The way you figure this out 
is because at her graduation, she was heavily pregnant. And then in her birthday photo, she's 30 with a three-year-old kid. So her birthday being in October 2025, add 30, take three because of the kid, you have 2052, her graduation date. I don't think any of the other puzzles in this game are as hard as this one, but this was a really good one. Hats off. Bravo to the creator. Oh, by the way, we're looking for our sister. That's why we're here. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't know if I kept that in. I don't know if that's going to be in like a post part, but I thought I'd just quickly mention that while I'm beating this old bitch to death with a stick with... Why are they... Why are they stronger when they're on the ground? That's, that's some horse shit. You know, I've seen that video. I don't know where it was. But they like... They scrape up gum from like the floor and be under tables and then they clean it and then they recolor it and then they make it into little cubes and then they put hubba bubba wrapping around it and then they put it back into a hubba bubba package and then they put it back on the shelves in a <laughs> shopping center. I swear I saw that, I just don't know where it was. Staff only. Well, I guess this is where the game ends because I'm not going to break that rule, am I? We get a calculator? This game has some atmosphere. I believe this game was made by one person. I could be wrong. The music is... I mean, it's Silent Hill, but it's good. Oh, great. It's you. Murderer. You have blood on your hands. Are we going to light a fire in this trash? Just gonna activate the sprinklers, which is gonna unlock every door in the building. Makes sense. Also, like, for criminals looking to rob the place, that seems like a really bad idea. Yo, they got the guitar melee weapon? If it doesn't go quank, tank every time you hit with it, I'm not interested. Was that, that was Left 4 Dead 2, right, that did that? Sometimes we chicken on our radio and we get like little snippets of a Coronation Street episode. It's pretty good. I'm gonna work on this as well. Man, this claw hammer, multi-use. It could open that padlock, it could open this padlock. It can kill your wife and child, presumably. Okay, we needed to put the chopsticks into this. <laughs> uh, I didn't see that one coming. That one took me a little while. Taking an awfully long time. I knew it. I'd never expected we'd get as much use out of this elevator counter as we have. We're in like the 60s now. I hope someone does like a super cut when we hit 100. Because we're going to hit it. Come on. Oh, Come shit. On. Um, look, brother, it's not it's not all bad. If you move out of England, it gets much better. Like, okay, maybe not America. Hang on, i gotta, I got to take this one second, all right? Just hold off on this whole thing. Yeah, this guy's like pretending like he's gonna jump off the building. Uh oh. Okay, he actually jumped off the building. Okay, I just want to preface this by saying this is pre-launch, so this is probably fixed, but um... My guitar is stuck on my hand. I no longer have it equipped, but it seems I have stuck it to my hand with super glue. Get it off, man! What if I'm stuck like this for the rest of the game? All right, I fixed it. We're all good. Man, what a shot. <laughs> okay, I was watching. Yeah, died just as pathetic as the rest of them. Where the hell did this giant face come from? You see this? What? Oh, it's gone. That is sleek as hell. This is the way we do this together. Together.
condemn their efforts? Is this a condemned? Like I'm sure they've got a lot of. No, don't use, don't use, Home Alone 2 Marv electrocution sound on the guy dead in the bathtub. Okay. This is just. There's like so many horrific scenes in this game. Man, this guy get killed by a street sign. Who got this guy? Huh? Tricky the clown. <laughs> hey. There's a little madness combat reference for the few of you. I uh, hope you enjoy that one. I haven't done one of those for a while. The man in the widow says hello. Come on, little Sarah, you gotta lock in with your spelling. Oh, he might be, he might be actually naked. Oh no. Alright, so we made like a makeshift fishing line with a yo-yo and a clothes hanger. And there's a there's a key in the bathtub, just like saw. Alright, we got the key. that key was for this this heart. The key. We got the key to the heart. You know the key to my heart? Buy my merch. That's not true. What's who's the key to my heart? Like a tall lady with a giant ass. <laughs> oh, what are we like? These candles? Oh, they all have names on them. Some of these names are out in the graveyard on the tombstones. Tomb B stones. Oh, I don't remember. I'm gonna have to do a little a little round trip around the graveyard, find out who's dead. What do we got here? Sarcophagi? No thank you. <laughs> Look, somehow you just gotta throw things out there, see which one's going And we skipped the Silent Hill sewer and we ended right back in one. And the like button feature isn't working anymore. You should still try. You should definitely still try. Maybe keep... Look, you know, I like the video, maybe we can skip this bit. I got the fucking uh, on the way over to the pub getting got jumped by Goo in a shortcut to Bel Air Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't even know what I said there. I'm not going to do the British accent anymore. Oh, good, a beating heart. Perfect. You know those doomsday preppers? They are going to be insufferable when an actual doomsday hits. Like, just, I hope I die. Oh, yes, this is the arm generator. We gotta slam our beating heart onto this bad boy, I bet. Got a couple of them now. <laughs> I don't know what compelled me to do that. It's so loud in the sewer! There's no way you can't hear this from your toilet. Alright, I think I might have actually, like, accidentally activated something. All my beating hearts disappeared and I can't get back to them. And I, I didn't finish whatever that arm generator thing was. Not a fan of whatever had happened there. First get moving. You've not got long left. Okay, we got star Resident Evil reference here, and uh, I don't know if I don't know if these are actual references. I'm just talking shit at this point. All right, we're gonna we're gonna ignore that. Oh, good, I've stumbled upon Twitter. Oh my god, <laughs> he came out of the dark. Oh, what's wrong with his legs? Okay, that is that is horrific. Let's get the hell out of here. There's another one. There's a, I'm trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing has ever quite frightened me like that Lost in Vivo bit with the train that started, like, chasing me as an entity that that was terrifying the train's an enemy oh i'm stuck this is the worst this is where this is about there's another one it's so fast oh my god oh no please for the love of god it's a dead end <laughs> no this train part has has terrified me beyond belief I've been skewered by a giant train ticket. I think if a train comes, that's it for me. That's the end of Shocktober. That's just like what will put me over the edge. I can't... Okay, no, we're good, we're good. You guys are not going to believe this, but we jumped down another giant hole and have ended up in an absolute nightmare zone. Tap, why did... Use a detonator within proximal. Why? Why are we doing that then? <laughs> oh, that's alarming. 
By the way, yes, I'm going to do the Final Destination tier list. That'll be in November. As well as Silent Hill 2 Remake. Those are my two November videos. And then, of course, we have Fear and Hunger 2 at the end of October. Something's happening. Is this why we need C4? I found my sister. She may be mildly a tree. <laughs> but I think we can, can still salvage me? this. Oh god, do we answer the call? I I don't think we should, but I'm going to because I've answered every other single call. Sherwood Estate Management. The hell? Please hold and one of our operators will be with you shortly. This reminds me of um Utopia, the the British TV show. Tell your friend to follow my light. I will guide him. Wait, I don't understand. Please. Wake up! Jesus fuck, are you seeing this? Place is lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, wait, 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 how are you calling me? Never mind that. Dax, you've got to help me. I found her. She's a here, but she, she's a hurt, but she's a here. Okay, okay, hold on. Tell me where you are. I don't know. It's a, a, a cave of some kind. Must be less than a mile out from the city limits. Dax. I know how this sounds, but you just need to follow the lights, okay? I don't have a good feeling about this. There's no way the evil phone guy just said, yeah, you're good. Don't worry about it. Oh, now where the tree? I know it. Bad ending. Damn it! Well, guess we died. We have become one with nature. Okay, I kind of want to roll it back and say no to the phone call, but I don't know if I can reload to that point. So I might have to leave that one to you to uh, you guys. And I'll, maybe I'll just watch it. But this has been this has been Hollow Body. That's a that was a short and sweet one. Thank God. There's so many long games I've been playing for Shocktober. We got one more video coming. And it's a big one. I'll see you then.